Damn, can't even see my ass. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a little bit better. What up, everybody? It's your boy B, of course. And uh, today, yeah, I'm off. So, I have shit to do all day. Except for, you know, wait till tonight when I'm going to go out. But yeah, in the meantime, I ain't got shit to do all day. Except for, so here I make videos. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I decided to hold off on the AM bootleg AMVs I be making and all that other crap and do something a little different. Let me tell you all this story, okay? A little background music, a little mood maker. Alright. <clears throat> this story has a moral, okay? Let's talk fellas out here. Alright. If you want to be a pimp or a player, you got to stay on point. You got to keep it keep it tight, keep your pimp hands strong and all that kind of good stuff. Man, because in, in most cases, I'll tell you right now, it's not worth it. I don't condone, you know, pimping. Because <laughs> I'll tell you what happened to me. I ain't like, you know, a few years ago, I was a little bit younger, a lot less wiser, <laughs> and I was in my whole little, I'm a pimp player type mode, you know. And I was talking to these two girls at the same time, you know, but I'm not going to mention their names. <laughs> I was talking to them, and uh, I really, really wanted to get with one, and the other one was just kind of like, well, you know, a freak. <laughs> so, but I was trying to bounce it out at the same time, you know, and then this one particular side that came up, and uh, they both wanted to hang out, you know, and... One always likes to go to Baywalk, and for y'all that don't, you know, live down here in St. Pete, that's this little place downtown, it's like a strip, you know, it's in the middle of all these shops and whatnot, you got the pier down there, you got the movie theater down there, but yeah, one likes to go to the mall, and one likes to hang out at, one, one likes to go to Baywalk, and one likes to hang out at the mall all the time. So, I was like, man, I got these chicks, so I got them on the route. I just take both of them. I just I meet up with both of them at their favorite places, and it won't be no problem, you know. So early in the day, don't nothing, don't nothing be happening at Baywalk. So I told the first one, that's the one who I really wanted to get with, to meet me at Baywalk later that night, right? And meanwhile, I'm talking to the, you know the freak or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, hey, you know, meet me at the mall, you know, we can hang out, you know. So everything's gravy. I'm getting ready. You know, my homeboy come up. We finna dip out. I'm on the phone with the chick like, yeah, you out there? She's like, yep. I got my homegirl with me. And we was like, oh, for real? I got my homeboy with me. That's cool. We'll be out there in like 30 minutes. So we head out there, right? Everything gravy. Walk around with the chick or whatever. And she was like, oh, hold up a minute, y'all. We finna go look in Victoria's Secret. So we're like, okay, cool. And me and Rico, we chilling by, uh, I think it was foot action. And all of a sudden I hear, Brian? And I'm like, oh, shit. And who would it be, of course, but the one who I'm supposed to meet at Baywalk later that night. So right now I'm in a sticky situation, man. This girl's out here at the mall. She's not supposed to be at the mall because the other one's at the mall. And it's just like, oh, shit. So I take her and I dip inside the stove right quick, which is not a good idea because, one, there ain't no way out of that motherfucker. And two, it's like it's not the, the foot action is not a big ass store, and you know how shoe stores are. Shit ain't crowded in there, so you can see like everybody was in there when you go by that motherfucker. So I'm sitting up here trying to talk to her, you know, wrap the junk up so she can go on or whatever. We can go somewhere or something. And then I'm like, oh yeah, so uh, what you doing out here or whatever? I thought you were just gonna meet up later. She's like, oh well, I want to pick up a few things so I decided you know take the bus out here. I'm like, oh, see. Like, uh, we still going to Baywalk tonight? He's like, yeah, I'm finna go, finna go to my homegirl's house right now. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm trying to rush her along, you know. And then, when you know it, the other chick come with her homegirl. And Rico's sitting there trying to, you know, have my back and whatnot. This nigga. Oh, yeah, and uh, one of these girls happened to be white and the other one was Asian. And then, Asian girl come up to my, oh. 
talking to his little white girl now, huh? And luckily, the first girl, like the one who I want to meet up with later, she didn't, you know, hear her or whatever. She didn't realize what was going on. So that was good. But yeah. Then, the rest of the day after the first girl leave and go to her friend's house, it's just all fucked up. The chick don't want to speak to me well. We go to the movies. She don't even want to kick it with me. But then, you know, we made up or whatever. But I didn't get, you know, nothing happened that night with her. Then I take my ass to Baywalk. And the other girl's down there. Everything's cool with her. But she got this friend with her. Like, and we call this the mother hen type. You know, fellas, you know when you're talking to this girl. And she got this friend that be steady cock blocking. I was trying to get this girl to go into the movies with me. This is what her friend did. Her friend grabbed her hand like, no, she's mine. She ain't going nowhere with you. And she slammed her down to sit in her lap and wouldn't let her get up. So, yeah. And I'm not finna manhandle no chick, you know, especially in public or whatever. You know, big black guy, two white girls. I nah, ain't going down like that. <laughs> so I just left it alone. And that whole day ended up being useless. So basically, fellas, the moral of the story is, you think you got game, you think you pimping all this, it can always backfire on your ass. So, learn from my mistakes if you can't learn from your own. Try to be a one woman dude. I mean, hey, I mean, you get everything that you would normally get without one. And then, like, don't cheat either. Yeah, if you're tired of your girl, break up with her. <laughs> but anyway, it's your boy B. And I'm out. Until, like, five minutes later when I make another video. Peace. <laughs>